In Mali, it's different. It's um, desperately poor. It's desolate. It's sub-Sahara. The medical needs here are staggering. It's hard to, without living here, it's hard to really even believe it. In 2005, they were quoting a maternal mortality of 10%. So 10% of the women in this country died as a complication of childbirth. So that, that, that's a number that's hard to even fathom. I mean, one in 10 women in America, can you imagine dying as a complication of childbirth? I mean, most, you know, I think it's maybe one in 20 or 30,000 in America. And most people don't even know an American who died as a complication of childbirth or even, even personally or even heard of one. In Africa, two things can shut you down faster than anything else. One's not having energy and one's not having water. And so to try and do any project, but even just a village life, clean water is, is absolutely central. And uh, you know, we take it for granted in the West, uh, but just drilled wells with, with, safe, with safe water access, um, you know, it's absolutely crucial. And so we go in there and try to really meet basic needs like water, like um, medical, just basic medical needs. The conditions there in Mali are, are so desperate that any little bit of help you can provide really goes a long way.